Welcome to the BioPharma Finder help video. In this help video, I'm going to show you how to start a basic peptide mapping experiment. Here's the home page of the software. You need to import your protein sequence, so add a protein sequence uh, to the software before you start your peptide mapping analysis if you'd like to have identifications associated with the components. So we've already added a an example sequence and so now we're going to go back to the home page and we're going to select peptide mapping analysis. You'll notice that a new tab appears at the top of the software so this is our peptide analysis tab and you can also go to the queue where you could look at previous experiments that you might have already run. So if we go back to the peptide mapping analysis tab we're going to set up our experiment. In order to do this, you need to begin by naming your experiment. So this we're going to, in this case, we're going to call it example. We're going to browse for our raw file. And here's our file. We're going to click open. Now if we have more than one file, which I will also do another help video to show um, an example where we do a comparative analysis, you'll actually be able to assign the different conditions for the raw files. We're going to select a protein sequence and this uh, table here will update as you continue to add protein sequences to the software and you can you know, scroll in so you can actually see different information. You can always sort by the different columns to find out the most recent uh, protein sequence that you've added. So now you just want to select the protein sequence that you're interested in. Now we have some canned methods, so we have two canned methods that we provide with the software and as you build your own methods you can save the methods and those will appear here on the list. So this would be a basic uh, um, default method is where I'd like to start and I usually like to edit my method when I begin my experiment because I want to take a look at the parameters and make sure that they're uh, set appropriately for my data set. I might want to raise or lower the threshold value. I might want to change the enzyme. I might want to change some of the other identification parameters in the method. Now one thing I want to point out is we have this uh, little checkbox here that says enable automatic parameter values. And how this uh, checkbox works is let's say that you uh, have a reference file and you um, use our basic default method and you um, just use the default parameters there, you process your data, you look at your reference file, you might want to fine tune some of the parameters, you might want to set the threshold to this value, or you might want to change uh, some of the peak, um, the minimum peak width, or you might want to change a variety of different things. And so once you've, you've really fine tuned that method, you can save the method and it'll appear here on the list but now let's say that you have a new set of data that you'd like to process with those parameters and so what you do then is you select the method that you saved and you uncheck this box when you uncheck this box and you hit start processing it's going to use all of the parameters that you've saved so it's kind of like a way to enable a template method to be applied to your data set uh, that you're interested in processing and that it won't adjust any of the uh, threshold values or the uh, peak parameters for, for uh, doing peak widths and identifying uh, the width, the maximum peak width and the minimum peak width. If you do check this box, the software will read the raw files and it may adjust those values. Okay, so now that you have your experiment named, you have your raw files, you have your sequence, you've selected your method, you can either start processing or edit the method. Again, we recommend you edit the method so you can look at the parameters and adjust them for your raw files. Uh, please see my other help videos on how to use the edit method. Thank you.